My next video clip is about SharePoint again, and uh, I'm going to show you how you can limit the personal group picker to specific groups in SharePoint. That really helps a lot if you need to pick an approver or someone from a specific department and not from the whole Active Directory. So let's take a look at how we would do that. Now, um, in this document library of mine, I'm going to add a new column. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to library settings. If you're in another version of SharePoint, this is SharePoint Online, don't fret if it looks a little bit different. Just go to your normal library settings and you will find it. It still is the same. So in my library settings, I'm going to scroll down and say create column. Now the column I want to create is a group of approvers and I don't want users to pick from anyone in the Active Directory. So if I select personal group, you will see that when you scroll down, so firstly I'm going to make this required and then when I scroll down, I'm going to say that only choose users from, not all users, I'm going to say from a SharePoint group. So yes, it only sees SharePoint groups. So what did I do? Because I'm a big fan of Office 365 groups, is that I went and created a farm approvers group and I added an Office 365 group to it that already exists. So I've got farm approvers on the specific site collection and inside that group that I created in my permissions, it's a SharePoint group, I then added an Office 365 group, which is farm approvers. So those are the people that we can then select from to, uh, to actually pick from. So very, very cool. Um, you can't select other people um, that's not in that specific group. So let's say OK and let's test the theory. Now I know that bra, my internship, is not in that strategic group of mine. So let's see if I can select Brahm as an improver. I'm going to select a document. I'm going to go to the detail panel and I'm going to just scroll down and see. Firstly, if I pick an approver, let's, uh, let's do a test and pick Tracy. OK, so I'm going to say yes. Let's see if it saves it. And it's happy with that. OK, so I'm going to I'm going to pick someone else. Let's pick Dina. Hmm, there's no Dina in there. That's uh, interesting. Let's pick Brown. No results. So let me just close that. So see how that helps me to limit the names that people can pick when you have a specific column that uses the personal group. So I think this is very valuable when it comes to um, like approvals on document libraries and um, having to reroute things or having to delegate things is uh, limiting it to a specific group that the people can pick from. So I think that's a, that's a big win for us and it also helps to um, manage the risk a bit so that people can't pick anyone from the AD. I hope that, uh, that that saves you time and that it helps you a bit in SharePoint.